uh, welcome back. Um, been a while. Hope everybody's been doing uh, doing well. Haven't done any videos. I don't even remember when. I think the last one I did was when I uh, put the uh, light kit in my Viper jet. Um, so it's been a while. A lot of life stuff's kind of hopped up in the way. Had to move. Had to move halfway across the country to the big state of Texas, and uh, I'll be here for a couple of years. Uh, call it quits with the military here and go from there. Um, so I haven't done much with the RC stuff. Got uh, and I did post about that on my uh, field or Facebook uh, build page, uh, just due to the fact that move here. I have a deployment coming up. Uh, my unit's actually already gone or in the process of leaving. I'm kind of a late deployer so I'll be uh, leaving probably uh, next month and so I'll be back in July. So between that and then when I get back I start uh, retirement stuff so uh, i got to find a job. got to get a real job. So that's kind of uh, going to be interesting. You know 20 years in the military so we'll see how it goes in the civilian world. <laughs> So, that being said, I, I kind of posted about not being able to do a lot of builds, you know, maybe and have to put the hot, uh, may have to put the hobby on hold to get uh, to get established, you know, moving the family. It'll be the f 14th move uh, that I've done so far with my family. So, be nice to settle down, put some roots in the ground. But uh, so that's kind of what's coming up. But I do have a build coming. Uh, whether I can start it before I leave, eh, you know how that goes. Should have been here a month ago. Probably won't be here for another two months. You know how that goes. So we'll see. And then, uh, you know, I can finish it when I get back because I'll have time when I'm, you know, not at work. Up until the point that I got to go jobs, uh, job hunting. So hopefully I can get it finished up. But uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, that's not what this video is about. Got something, uh, something. Uh, different to talk about uh, and I'll try to get to that so we don't uh, make uh, an extremely long video so uh, kind of funny that my last video was a uh, light kit and if any, if anybody be, uh, any of you remember brain cube you know that uh, Marvin yeah Marvin used to be the the sole distributor for those guys in the US until they closed shop uh, it was really just an individual I think from what I could uh, for gathering, he just decided he didn't want to do it anymore. So he closed the shop, and I had already bought uh, a light kit for my jet because I liked one that I put in a friend's, and I looked up and got one at uh, Kentucky Jets for the auction. Loved the light kit, didn't have any problems with it until I was stupid and plugged the battery into the wrong port, burn out a couple LEDs. But luckily, I got two more, and then I did the same thing again because I have a, uh, I had a line that I would plug the ca the cockpit into to run two lights up in the cockpit and it was the same connection as the battery connection on the on the, the light controller so I burnt my light controller up but I still got the LEDs um, so it kind of sucked I had to, to get a new light controller but I still have the LEDs in my jet until recently uh, I got contacted by the people that bought the brain cube line out of and they're out of the UK uh, it's a group of modelers uh, from what I can take, uh, so that's good. Anybody in the hobby, producing something for the hobby, usually has a, you know, better idea, you know, and some things like that. Not saying the the prior owner did, uh, but uh, they took it, they made some improvements, changed the light controller, changed the LEDs a little bit. Uh, the programming is still pretty much the same. The same um, specs are the same, but hopefully in the future there'll be more to come. And add to. I've already been talking to them about you know afterburner rings, you know jet guys. Everybody likes an afterburner ring, things like that, um, and some accessories. And so hopefully in the future I'll I'll have more on that. But this, this video is just to kind of show you what you're getting, kind of reintroduce you to Brain Cube, and then I'll do another video uh, showing you the lights. And if anybody's been to one of the events that I've flown the Viper at, you can tell. I mean you see the lights. They're they're extremely bright. Um, they don't use a lot of juice, uh, which is kind of weird because the, the speed controller can take from like, gosh, 6 volts up to like 42 volts. Um, 
Not sure why you would need a battery that big unless it was something like probably UAV or something, but uh, I don't know. I recommend, um, I will talk about that later. But anyways, that's what this is about. Uh, so I am the new US distributor for Brain Cube Light Kits and Accessories. So if you need something, let me know, I'll hook you up. Uh, I don't have a website. I was, I was kind of debating on doing this because like I said, I do have a busy life coming up. But this is something that I could do on the side that doesn't take a lot of my time. Uh, you know, like building and going to events during the times that I can't. And even when I'm deployed, I'll still be able to do uh, do the, the lights and everything for people. So I talked to some people, and I decided to go ahead and do it. So I am the new guy for the U.S. if you're interested. I do have a Facebook web page, or Facebook page for BrainCube. It's kind of tied into my um, uh, Fender Bean uh, build page, but it's a separate page. So if you if you do a search uh, BrainCube Lights on Facebook, you'll find it. It'll pop up. You'll see the logo. Uh, maybe eventually I'll do a website. Uh, it just costs money. I'm not good at websites, um, so that, you know maybe you know if it you know we'll see in the future. Like I said, I'm just starting out small, just me solo act. Uh, but I'm pretty pretty active on the on my phone and on, on the on the on the forums and stuff. So I'll be able to get uh, get get back to you real real quick. And the good thing is they're keeping this stuff in stock at their place in the UK, and it takes two days. I place my order. My initial order wasn't sure so I kind of got a little bit of everything uh, got here in two days from the UK so that's really good so you take so you know like if I don't have something let me know I'll get it by the time I you know I, I, I process the order or they process the order two days maybe three it'll be here and then whatever it takes me to get it out to you uh, so it, it's I, I think it shouldn't have any problems there um, but yeah, so decided to uh, give it a go. It's a good opportunity. It gives me something to do. I like uh, anything uh, that helps the hobby, and these are good light kits. I mean, it's not some cheap junk um, that you can get off it, off of eBay. I have experience with the product. Like I said, they're very robust, flexible. Uh, you can add as many lights as you want, and like I said, you can use whatever battery you want. So that's another good thing, and it, and it has, you know, ten programmable things built into it, and we'll kind of I'll kind of go over that when I do the uh, the light video. So we're already you see seven minutes. So okay, I'll hush up. I'll show you what I got, and I excuse what we got here because smaller house here in Texas, don't have a hobby room. So my hobby room is, A.K.A. my trailer that I keep all my jets in. So this is my new hobby room. So bear with me, but I got plenty of light. And uh, so let's get to this. I'll turn on this light. Ooh, bright. And I'll show you what you're kind of what we're getting here. So zoom in. Do, 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 do. There we go. Here we go. Excuse me. That's some of the stuff from my new project. So I'm just waiting for it. Can't wait. All right. So they have a basic and an advanced. There's really not much difference. Same controller, same lights. The only difference between the basic and advanced is they give you one more light with the advanced, and it's a what they call a landing light. It's a larger light. That in mind, I am going to do sets. So if you need a hawk, I will sell a set with everything, all the lights, LEDs for a hawk or a viper. Uh, like I said, you can do buy the kit. If that's it, you can buy a kit, and then we can. If you need two more uh, position lights, or you need, or two more landing lights, we can put those with the kit. So, so here, so here's how it comes. Nice little box, nothing, nothing crazy fancy. Uh, and this is the basic one. Like I said, it's a con uh, the basic is the controller, five LEDs. The advanced is six LEDs. Uh, comes in a nice little box, foam for protecting. And what I do like, so you got your controller. And the LEDs. So, get this out of the way. And what I like about the controller, if you remember the old controller, it had a speed controller type design. Nothing wrong with that. Didn't have a way to mount it. So, this guy, I'm not going to take this one out, I got one already out of the packet. They provide you with these guys right here. It's hard to see. It's a clip. Two, two little mounting clips with rubber grommets and the brass thing. It's kind of like a servo. 
and all those and this is your controller so I'll show you this up close alright there we go LED adjustment spot all your LEDs come on this in two, it's a two prong you got battery receiver receiver is a little bit longer but those little clips I showed you clip here and here and give you a way to mount this which is nice it's a different controller this is very lightweight nothing to it it's, looks like a 3d printed case uh, it's not the same speed controller it's a better better controller now like I said they they went back they improved some things and that's what that's your controller very small very light and uh, I can actually if I thought about it I would have got my a uh, little scale out, which I'll do that for the light video. I'll get the scale out and show you how much all this weighs. So there's your light kit or your light controller. All right, and then your LEDs comes with a two prong wire, nice little aluminum, a lens on it. The lens is, lens has a, a sphere, kind of a half moon shape to it, similar to the originals, but a little bit different change. No no resistor needed. It's all all in here, and the the positive wire color tells you what kind of light it is. This is a white and if you've got a, a green it's hard to see but it's green and red for red. Alright so you get there's your LEDs 5 volt smacks uh, and they're like 3 three amps a piece it's not, or 3 watts something something really really small. Uh, you, you can put 12 volts 24 volts in it's only it's going to regulate it down to push out the, uh, the the voltage for your LEDs. So you're not going to burn out your LEDs if you put whatever battery you put on there. So that's kind of a good thing. So that's what you get in, in the in the kit. The only thing you don't see uh, that you get with the advanced is what they call their landing light. This big thing. Very robust metal casing. It's got a nice spherical or half moon kind of lens on it. This is perfect. What I think this is perfect for is for your, your BA Hawks with the light in the nose. Or if you want to put a single light on your nose gear, or you can put three of them on whatever you want. It's just pretty. It's it's a big, it's a big uh, light. So, if you wanted to use something like this for your landing lights, by all means, you can use this for your landing lights. If you want to use these for your landing lights, by all means, go for it. It's just whatever you want. It gives you some flexibility for your particular model. So, and then you you have on the end, you've got. Um, you got two strobe connections, a landing con connection, and a three prongs for nav on the end of this. It's got a little piece of foam over it to protect them. So, if you have, uh, say, because it's just got the one landing light, so if you had like four landing lights, all you would simply do would be make your harness to where you could have one plug in with four, um, four plugs for your lights. So you can put as many LEDs as you want. I think my, my Viper has like 12 lights on it. So I put a lot of lights. So that's kind of the nice thing about this. You can put a lot of lights on it even though it's only got you know like uh, the uh, the six uh, prongs you can make leads however you want to put as many lights as you want. So that's what comes in the box. Ooh, we're already at 13 plus minutes. Um, so that's what you get. I'm working on, uh, I'll, I'll have instructions with them too to help you guys out, but it's very simple. So, you guys take it easy, I'll get a, uh, a video, it looks like something ran out, probably my uh, storage. Take it easy.